Hey everybody, welcome to Hat Hole Home Video. Yes, the juice is loose. I went and saw Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I got a lot of stuff I want to say about the franchise. I decided I'm going to bust it up and do a few different videos. So this is going to be the week of Beetlejuice. Beetle week. Week of juice. Well, however you want to say it. So today we're going to talk about Beetlejuice 2. Then we're going to do a video about Beetlejuice, the animated series. And finally, I can't not talk about Beetlejuice and the Jeffrey Jones problem. So let's get this shit swinging. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, ooh, it's a mess. That's not to say it isn't funny. That's not to say it isn't a good time. That's not to say it isn't dripping with charm. But let's be honest with ourselves. There's about four Beetlejuice movies going on at one time. It's too much juice. It's simultaneously too much and not enough. Beetlejuice's wife gets about four lines and at least three of them are where's Beetlejuice? Now I didn't know it till after I saw the movie but apparently Tim Burton is dating Monica Bellucci so it all makes sense. Birdie Boy loves Crowbar and his big titty actress girlfriends into his movies. It's a bummer he couldn't make it work with Helena Bottom Carter because at least there's a big old pair of titties that can act. And I'm sorry but how in the hell is Delia Dietz a successful artist? The first movie made it painfully clear that her art Sucks! Delia, you are a flake. You have always been a flake. If you insist on scaring people, do it with your sculptures. Who knows? Maybe that's a clever commentary on the art community. Maybe Tim Burton saying, garbage artists often ascend. But let's be honest, I get the feeling he just didn't give it that much thought. It was really nice to see this cast back together. Catherine O'Hara, Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton. I got a warm, tender spot in my heart for these people playing these characters, and that went a long way for me having a good time in this movie. Hey, we gotta talk about additions to the cast. We got a little Danny DeVito sprinkle. I was happy with it. I did see Jenna Ortega in Scream. I don't think I've seen her in anything else. I didn't watch Wednesday, believe it or not. I just wasn't vibing on it. But coming out of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I gotta say, Jenna Ortega's got some chops. And Willem Dafoe's in this movie. Willem Dafoe, more like Willem Dafoe show. And of course, we gotta talk about Tim Burton's visual style, and it is a roller coaster. There are scenes in this movie, beautifully composed shots, the lighting. There are times in this movie where I was spellbound by the visuals. And then sometimes it just looks like somebody plonked a camera down. If I was reviewing somebody's job performance, I would call the visual style inconsistently meets. For those who have seen the movie, the scene where Willem Dafoe and his ghoul patrol storm the church is one of the most beautiful things I think Tim Burton has ever filmed. Now what's going on in the church though? What's going on in the church is dog shit. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna say today. Remember, everything that's ever happened to you in your life, good or bad, every choice you've made, right or wrong, it's all made you the person you are today. And the person you are today is exactly the person you were meant to be today. But who you are tomorrow, that's for you to decide. Bye-bye.